Well, hello again, math. This is Geometry Land. We are in Chapter 11, Section 3, Surface Area of Pyramids and Cones. This is so fun. Look at this cool pyramid. Um, it's We're bringing history alive. Um, so let's define some terms here. Please write these down as we get the definitions. A pyramid is a polyhedron, so it has polygon sides, in which the bases, which the base is a polygon. Base is what's touching um, the ground as we're building. And the lateral faces, so the stuff around the sides, are triangles with a common vertex. A regular pyramid, it's not the kind of pyramid you find at every city, Remember, in geometry, regular means it has a regular polygon for the base. It means all the sides are the same. Um, and its height H meets at the base of the center. So if we take our little picture, H goes from the vertex at the top to the center of our base. And then we have this interesting dimension called the slant height. I love this. It's the length of the oblique lateral edges, and we usually use a cursive lowercase l to describe it. Oh, and it goes down the base. So it's like what we would do if we were at the top of the pyramid and we got our little um, sled and we just, um, that is the slant height. Okay. We're going to find the surface area of a pyramid with a square base. That means all these sides are 300. We're going to do this like as if I, I'm going to do it as if I don't know um, how that, I don't know the formula for the surface area of a pyramid. And then so that way you can um, appreciate the formula when we get it on the next slide. Okay. So we have this triangle, we have this uh, pyramid here. We can easily, um, if we divvy this up into its shapes, we have a square on the bottom. So when we're finding the surface area, we just take each of the surfaces and find the area. So we need to find the area of the square. And then we have four triangles that are around the side. So um, the area of the base is so easy, guys. It is um, a square, so it's 300 times 300. If you want to write that as 300 square, go ahead. Um, and then the area of a triangle is one half. So the base, so here's the triangle that we're trying to find the area of. Ooh, be fun. Okay, one half base, which is 300 times the height, oh, well shoot, we don't know what the slant height is. So it doesn't matter which one we find it on. I'm going to find it on this um, left side here so that um, you can kind of see so it'll make sense where things are coming from. Okay, so if we have this right triangle created by the height of our pyramid, the hypotenuse is the slant height, and um, our base here on the bottom of this triangle is half of 300, which is 150. So now I have a little 30, 60, 90 triangle. I need to find its, sorry, not 30, 60, 90. I don't know what the dimensions are. I have a right triangle, and I need to find, what that is. I need to find L so that I can use it to find the area, the surface area of that triangle. So we go L squared because it's a hypotenuse, H squared because he's a side, he's a leg, and then 150 squared. And we are just going to shove it straight up into our calculator. So we get 321 squared. plus 150 squared equals, oh, I don't know, I don't know what that is, 1,000 to, 
125,541. Take the square root. Oh, it's 354.3. So we know L is 354.3. All right, so we got, again, so let's go back here, one-half base times the height, which we calculated, um, the height of this face of the triangle is 354.3. Okay, now we're as well going to shove this into our calculator. So we got 300 squared plus, I'm going to go parenthesis because anytime I have a plus and then this, some stuff being multiplied together. I want to make sure I got it. Uh, four, because there's four triangles, times one half, point five, times three hundred, times three hundred and fifty-four point three. Close your parenthesis. Get your equal sign. Three hundred two thousand five hundred and eighty. And that is going to be feet squared surface area. Boom. Okay, now let's do some formulas. So putting that together um, for uh, all regular pyramids, we find, here's the formula, so make sure you highlight or somehow differentiate it so when you look back on these notes, you can use it um, to answer the questions correctly. So we have the surface area is the area of the base plus one half the perimeter of the base times the slant height. So let's see how we use that formula here. Find the surface area of the pyramid with a hexagonal base. Each side length of the base is six meters. The slant height, thank goodness they gave it to us, is eight meters. All right, so our formula is area of the base plus one-half perimeter times the slant height. So um, I know you guys thought you could put um, <laughs> the area one-half the apothem times perimeter. You guys thought you could put that to bed, but no, he is back. Um, remember a hexagon has um, is made up of six equilateral triangles. So to find the apothem, we take the base, cut it in half, and shove a root three on it. This is probably the 15th time you've seen this um, in my class. So if it doesn't make sense, please um, come by and I'll explain it again to you. And then the perimeter of um, our hexagon is six times six because there's six sides and they each have um, a uh, side length of six. Okay, so to find the area of the base, we go one half the apothem of our hexagon times the perimeter of the hexagon, which is 36. Okay plus one-half the perimeter of the base, which thankfully we had to calculate it already, so we already know that, um, times the slant height, and they gave it to us. It is eight. We are going to shove, shove, shove all this into our calculator. Um, they may actually, let's go ahead and do not the calculator. Well, I'm going to use the calculator, but we can do the not calculator part and just get it in terms of um, root three. So uh, this is how this works. Half of 36 is 18. 18 times 3. Oh, I don't know that one by heart. Four. It is 54. Maybe I do know it by heart. So we got 54 root 3. So we, we take the root 3 down and all the other numbers we multiply together. And then we got 1 half of 36, which is 18 times 18, is 324. All right. So now this is... Um, in simplest radical form, we are going to go ahead and convert it 54 times root 3 plus 324, and we get approximately 417.5, and 
and the units are meters squared. Yay! Right. Sample three, what is the surface area of this pyramid? Again, let's look um, at the formula. Our formula is the area of the base plus one half the perimeter times the slant height. Area of this base is six times six. 36. The perimeter of this base is 6 times 4, because there's each side is 6. There are four sides. The perimeter is 24. And the slant height they give us, it is 5. If they don't give it to us, you guys, we have the Pythagorean theorem to find it. It's not terrible. Half of 24 is 12. 12 times 5 is 60. 60 plus 36, 96 inches squared. And now I'm second down it. Like, I'm second guessing myself. Like, oh, 12 times 5. Oh, yeah, it is 66. Okay. It's, it never hurts to double check your numbers, especially um, right now for me. It's a Monday morning. So, yeah. Okay, surface area is 96. All right, we're going to look at the pyramid's um, rounded front, the cone. Surface area of a cone, well, let's define cone. Cone has a circular base with a vertex at the top that is not in the same plane as the base. So it's up here, it's like a little circus hat. To find the surface area of the cone, you're, we're going to use essentially the same formula. We're going to find the area of the base plus the circumference, which is technically the perimeter of the base divided by 2 times the slant height. Um, I'm going to give this for I'm going to give this formula to you in terms of um, the radius. So this is like a bonus formula. So we're going to go surface area is equal to the area of the base which is pi r squared plus the circumference divided by 2. Circumference is usually 2 pi r, and then we're going to divide that by 2, so it's going to get rid of the 2s. And we're just going to be left with pi r and slant height. So if you want to just put this formula in your pocket and save it for later, it's going to make finding the surface area a lot easier than you want, because you're going to have to think of these anyway. So, okay, let's look at this cone. It has a height of 3 and a radius of 4, but what we're missing here is the slant height. Oh, we don't know. He is right here. So we're going to have to Pythagorean theorem to find what our slant height is. 3 squared plus 4 squared, that is 9 plus 16, that is 25. Square root of 25 is 5. So when you don't have a dimension, and you're doing surface area of a cone or a pyramid, you're probably going to have to Pythagorean theorem. All right, let's put it into our formula. So the surface area is the area of the base, pi times radius squared, plus pi r l, pi times r times l. We're going to leave, I'm going to give you both answers, one in terms of pi and one in terms of the rounded answer. So it's 36 pi or 36 times pi, doing my calculator right now, 113.1 square feet. Pretty straightforward. What is the surface area of the cone? Round to the nearest whole number. Let's put in the dimensions that we need. So if the whole thing across is 23, we go 23 divided by 2. Our radius is 11.5, and we get, um, so the surface area is area of the base, pi RL. So we know that the radius is 11.5. Thankfully, they gave us the slant height. We don't have to Pythagorean theorem for that today. 
11.5 squared is 132.25 pi. 11.5 times 14 is 161 pi. We're going to add those two together. Plus 132.25. And we get 293.25 pi. That is approximately equal to 921.3 meters squared. All right, you guys take a moment. Go ahead and complete the homework assignment. Come back here once you're finished or if you get stuck on one particular problem and find the answers. And here are the answers to your homework assignment. Page 713, numbers 10 through 20 even, 26 through 28, 37 through 40, and classwork pyramid. Classwork pyramid. There it is. Classwork pyramids. Thank you guys. Have a great day.